Hello everybody, welcome back. My name is Steven Mehta here at Volley Inc. I'm going to show you today how to, how to install an in-feed. Uh, this is going to be a right angle in-feed and so this is what you're going to be getting from part number 60422-00. What I'm going to do is demonstrate today is how this installed. Uh, first of all, it's going to be going on there like this. Inside of here is going to be, once you open this up, it's going to come with a few different things. It's going to come with the installation instructions. And it has two different size cable glands, just in case, because this does use 63, or you can use this on our 63 amp bar or 100 amp bar, and anywhere in between that also. So it has a couple different size cable glands that come in here. You have the terminals that are hooked up to the ends of these copper, copper lines. And then you're going to have the housing. And as I said, on the bottom it's going to have two different size holes for depending on what size cables you're using and what size gland you need to use. Okay. Right now, I'm going to go ahead and preset this up, and we'll be right back with you. Okay, first thing you're going to do is you're going to have this guide right here. It's going to have an L and an R on it. Don't worry if you don't know which side is left or right. It's going to have some symbols on here with L1 through L3, and also your ground. So I know that my ground is going to be next to this yellow and green. So I'm going to put this on. It's going to say left for on here. So what we're going to do is we're going to poke it in here. And it's going to sit nice and flush. It should sit nice and flush at the end right here. And so there's no mistake in that. All right. Next, we're going to go ahead and take our, our, our right angle cover. So we're going to go ahead and slide that right on there. Okay. Nice and flush. Second, we're going to take these little rubber grommets right here. And we're going to poke them in the side of these holes. This is going to keep it from sliding off keep from coming off of there. Next, we're going to go install our terminals on the ends here. The longer ones are going to go on top facing outwards. So you're going to slide it right in there with that bar. And on this inside you can see a little, little cheat area so you can see if that copper is all the way in there. It should be covering that whole window if you can see that. Next I'm going to go ahead and tighten down my set screw on here. There is a hex nut that keeps it on there, but first you want to tighten down the screw and then tighten down the hex nut. Not too tight. Go ahead and give it a little pull. And now I'm going to set down my set my hex nut tight. Snug. Next, the other side. Put that in the inside. I'm going to hand tighten down this set screw. And once again, I'm going to visually inspect, make sure that window is covered in copper. Come over here. Kind of want to hold this copper, make sure you're not twerking on it, twisting it too much. Same thing for these down here. All covered. Last one.
next. We're gonna go ahead and take this smaller size gland, squeeze it over these wires. Run the wires up through here. And then we're gonna take our nut, that's gonna fix it in here to our gland. Come in here. We're gonna tighten up our gland. Get that falling out. And in the meantime, I know which one my ground is. Mine is a striped wire. So, in the meantime, though, just to keep this wire from falling down, I'm going to go ahead and tighten up this gland. Okay. So, on these, though, these nuts will fall off if you take them all the way out. So on this one, you kind of want to keep them on there until you're ready to install them so they don't go missing. Turn down, keep it away from this other this other log. Next, we're gonna go to our L3. Just gonna hand tighten these for right now, and then come back along and snug them all back up. straighten out. You want to be straight down. You don't want to poke it out and press it on the housing on there. Last one. So now I got all these snugged up. I'm not quite happy with how the wire is looking inside here. So I'm gonna try to get them straight and neat as nice as I can. Don't pull too hard. Some of these wires are gonna be different lengths. This one you can see is all stretched out. Um, for you guys that are really good electrical experts out there that have that knack to guesstimate how far you cut the wire and make this look nice and clean, that's awesome. Keep that up guys. This one makes a nice, good clean finish and makes the customer think it happy about that. All right, so I'm going to tighten that down. And some of these I can get to with the socket. Let's see if I can get to all of them. First one's going to be the ground. Once you get enough torque on these these nuts, these bolts will stop spinning. This is based off the design of these washers. And 
now that I've got everything tightened down, all my eyelids on my terminals, all the nuts tightened down, last thing is going to be is put this cover on there very easily. Just take it over the top right here. Actually, you can slide it down here. Slide the whole thing just straight down.